Good evening from the University of Maryland in College Park, the Terrapins 95, Holy Cross 71. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. That's the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich, Chris Bosner, and Wayne Viner. Bruce, take it away. The Big Dog is in the house tonight. Big win for Maryland to open the season, but I got a big announcement to make. We talk about the Big Dog Law Firm all the time. The Big Dog, Rick Chaklish, was today named the number one trial lawyer in the state of Maryland. Is that it? Congratulations, Rick. Thank you very much. I have the greatest staff in the world. They make me look good. But that's some honor to be the, hey, anytime you're number one, that's the real deal. But it, it roamed around the legal circles today. And I heard it from a lot of sources. Right. Well, we have number one over here. We just saw number seven roll over the Crusaders. Uh, the guys that jumped off the court to me, Daryl Morsell had a great coming out party. Who is number one, one, the number 11. Boy, what a great game he had. He did. 15 points, six re rebounds, right? Yeah. He looked really Things good. Things were a little slow. They brought him in off the bench, mm -hmm. and then the game changed. He kind of took over. Uh, and uh, It was instant offense, instant defense off the bench, and instant toughness. Yeah. Down to Scott, number 24. There's tough. There's tough. There's toughness. Coming off the bench, the Philly kid. You can just tell he can play. And then, of course, Sticks has his uh, Tim Duncan-like night where you get the 16 points and 12 boards, just do a little bit of everything. And you know what else What was cool about Sticks? He left his interview. He went over there, three little kids over there. Hung he went in with a selfie with the little kids. Yeah. That's just class. He's, just, he's a great kid, a great winner. How are you? I, Wayne and myself have been going nuts. I'm sure you've seen us on the air. You listen to us. But how excited are you? about Mark Turgeon's team this year. This is a different team. It's the deepest team Mark's ever had. That's the thing that strikes me. So he can play so many different ways. He can play big, he can play small. You saw him do his own press for a little bit tonight. You saw him run. I mean, he's very, very deep. Yeah. No foul trouble problems, right? Well, you're ten, just pull another kid in. You're 10 deep. 10 you know? deep. So talk about the tempo that Maryland had with running the ball up the court. I've never seen this before. Well, they're just getting the ball and taking it off. And when you got the playmakers that Maryland has, mm -hmm. and, you know, it was good to see. Uh, I, I didn't see you. You were away for the exhibition game. Mm -hmm. Sorrell Smith was a little cold. He came out firing tonight. I said to Wayne the other day, said he needs about 500 shots in the gym the next three nights. Mm -hmm. Must have taken him. He's a he shooter. Hit, he hit a couple downtown threes. And uh, what's your impressions of 21, Makai Mitchell? You talk about a tough kid. Gotta love it. He's slimmed down. He's, he's got to be 30 pounds lighter than when I saw last year when he was in high school. He looks good. His brother looks good. So it's a very deep team. So I, I read an article on ESPN Plus. And fake news? Mm -hmm. ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> a little fake. All right. Uh, and it said that Maryland, the key to them maybe going long distant, is no turnovers. And that's the difference. Is that if they could just have no turnovers this year, not no, but a lot less, that differential changes. And that's the key to Michigan State, the lack of their turnovers. And I think that they're protecting the ball a little bit better. But uh, You've got ball handlers. You've got Ayala. You've got... Anthony Cowan, you got Wiggins in the wing. They've got the ball handlers. They shouldn't turn the ball over. Guy I love is Dante Scott. I tell you. I, okay, I, we're going to take a look at the score sheet and go over a couple more favorites here on the Big Dog postgame show after a word from the Big Dog himself. We'll be back in a moment. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call the Jackers Law Group. We have decades of experience handling truck crashes. We recognize issues unique to trucks, including black box findings and DOT regulations. We find insurance others don't know exists. Some think the only coverage is with the truck, yet we've found millions more insurance with the broker. It's important to collect information, find representation immediately. Truck cases are complex. If you've been hurt in a truck crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1 right now. CAG Federal brings a combination of military operational and commercial business experience to your organization. We mix extraordinary organizational management experience with strong leadership skills to provide your department with the best chance for success. When 99.9% .9 reliability isn't good enough, call CAG Federal at 877-797-8776 
or on the web at cagfederal.com. Back on the floor at Xfinity Center, 95-71 Terps. Bruce, let's run down the stats here. Yeah, I was just talking with Rick. Dante Scott, six rebounds. I mean, in uh, 20 minutes, not bad. Terp shot 48%, uh, 47 rebounds, 15 assists, and six turnovers. You win a lot of games like that. Maryland does. Absolutely. Because normally it's even. You know, and that's why they struggle down the wire. Foul shooting was a little weak today, well, 16 for 24. Foul shooting's a little weak. The jump shots weren't there. Maryland was very good when they got to the basket. Gotta get Ho it. Holy Cross pushed out, so it was complete man-on-man. -man. If you could beat your man, you could get to the rack. And Point and guard from Holy Cross, number three was off the good. We called him Alan Iverson. He had Louder. 24 points. Yeah. What do you have? True Louder, 20, oh, 24, but he drove through three guys. One more Drew Louder on that team, it could have been a little bit different. But he was really good, and he was the fun to watch. Which brings us to Saturday. Yeah, Rhode Island team coming in here, 9 o'clock game. 9 o'clock, you going to make it to midnight? I'll be there. All right, good. And... Uh, Ohio State, what can we say about that? 42 points, take the points in the Terps. I agree with you. I think Ohio State might be resting if they've got a big lead on Maryland, which is probably inevitable. Bruce, I don't think they can rest after the game, our Terps game last year. They had the scare of their life. They did. They did. But how did it's a different we ever score 50 against them? Did we score 50? We uh, lost 52-51. 51. Can you imagine it? Well, you had a healthy Anthony McFarland. He had a quality offensive line that was healthy at the time. Right. Well, let, let's hope it's a game, but it's probably not with the way things have been going. But who knows? Sometimes you play great against a certain team. I don't know what else to say. Let's hope it happens. Well, let, let's hope that we don't lose by that much. And and then later in the year, the last two games, I'm looking forward to a possible Lance Lejean show at quarterback. We'll see how that works Rick was out. talking to me about that. I think Lance is going to beat Nebraska. I hope so. I, I, Bruce has been saying that's the team we could beat. And if you play well there, you go to Michigan State. I don't know how much they're going to have to play for. In the Lance, has been, for a bowl, probably. Lance has been very special in practice. He's special in the spring game. He's got a lot of talent. He's their future. Yeah, no doubt. One last word. <clears throat> Do you have your tickets to Miami on February 2nd? For the Ravens. Ready to roll, baby. Oh, man. That's How about that win against the Patriots, huh? Crazy. I said it was the greatest win at M&T uh, Bank, Bank Field. Bank. Or, I don't know. Being the Steelers in that. No, no, no. <laughs> this game had more pizzazz to it. It was This game was unbelievable. And we beat Brady and we beat Belichick. But, reminder, Turp Talk tomorrow, 5 o'clock. Special show. Uh, get bounced because Mark Zero is at 6 o'clock. I want to give one plug if I can. Shoot. Just to the people watching this broadcast right now. This is an exciting team. You need to go get season tickets for the Terps right now. It's the best deal in all the sports. Come down to the Xfinity Center. You still can. It's unbelievable what a deal it is. And see a team going to have a really special year. Go Terps. Buy your tickets. Oh, because I'll tell you one thing. When the Big Ten comes around, you're going to pay through the nose for seats for most right. of the games. But, right. uh, well, we have to get into the press conference, so we're going to wrap it up from the court. We'll see you on 1300 CBS Big Sports Doll, Radio. Thanks for, coming on, baby. thanks for having me, guys. Wayne, right. Bruce, right. thank you so much. Thanks for being a sponsor. Maryland wins 95-71. Good evening.